Do you want to become a data scientist or machine learning engineer, but feel intimidated by all the math involved? I get it, I've been there. When I started my journey into machine learning, I didn't even know what a derivative was. I had just dropped out of medical school and I'd always stayed away from math and programming. All I knew was basic biology. Fast forward to today and I've gotten into companies like Amazon and Google and I feel pretty confident in my math skills. I've picked up the necessary math along the way using free resources and self-directed learning. Today I'm going to walk you through some of my favorite books, courses, and YouTube channels that got me to where I am today. And I'll also share some tips on how to study most effectively. This will be your unfair advantage, so let's get to it. First, let's address the common question. Do you even need to know the math for machine learning? Honestly, no. It pisses me off that so many content creators tell you to focus on math and theory. You only need to know the basics and then you're ready to get started with projects. And as you're building projects, the math will start to come up and that's when you can go deeper. But do you need to be a math god to get started with machine learning? Absolutely not. Libraries like PyTorch and TensorFlow handle most of the heavy lifting for you anyways. You don't need pages of backpropagation to import a basic library. You can do that starting today. If you're a beginner trying to get into ML, you should spend your time building basic projects. House price prediction, the Titanic data set, maybe even handwritten digit detection. And if you want my help building projects, head to the link in the description. I've helped thousands of people build their portfolio and you can read all about our success stories. Now, there are situations where knowing the math in ML is essential, so listen closely. Imagine you're training a model and the training accuracy is great, but when you test it with new predictions, the accuracy is horrible. If you understand concepts like the bias variance trade-off, you'll be able to adjust your model and prevent overfitting. Or let's say you're building a chatbot and your model forgets some of the information from early earlier in the conversation. If you understand concepts like context length and how it ties into the transformer model, you'll be able to improve the user experience. The last thing you want to do is build one of those garbage customer support bots that we've all talked to before. All right, now let's talk about the specific math concepts that you need when you're building your foundation. First, linear algebra, but forget about advanced decompositions. Just learn matrices. You should know what a matrix is, how to multiply two of them, and when they operate operation is even defined. Most of modern ML, including LLMs like ChatGPT, is based on matrix multiplication, so you've got to understand it well. Now, there's calculus, but forget about anything crazy. You don't need to solve pages of complex derivatives. That's a waste of time. You just need to know the basics, what a derivative is, and the difference between instantaneous rate of change, which I call IROC, and average rate of change, which I call AROC. You should also know some basic formulas, like the derivative of x squared is 2 x, or the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. And if you're wondering why this even matters for machine learning, it's because of how we train models. Models learn with an algorithm called gradient descent, and derivatives are the key here. Next, I'll share the best resources to learn the math without it being too stressful and hopefully not too boring. First, for linear algebra and matrices, Gilbert Strang is the GOAT. He's a professor from MIT, and all of the lectures from his linear algebra class are free on YouTube. When I was learning the basics and I was fresh out of nothing but biology classes, his videos were a lifesaver. Next, for calculus, 3Blue1Brown is a legend. I actually worked with Grant, aka 3Blue1Brown, last year and we agreed you can learn the math as you go when you're studying machine learning. I think it's great to just learn on the fly as needed. And I think it's great to actually use these topics from ML as motivators for linear algebra, motivators for calculus rather than saying, hey, before you can even engage with it, make sure that you've like walked Definitely. through the Pearl Castle first. <laughs> oh, and you clearly have a knack for explaining technical things yourself. And if you like visual animations, Grant's videos are great for understanding what a derivative is and really building that intuition. They're honestly kind of beautiful, which feels weird to say coming from the medical field and having only taken biology classes, but when you watch them, you'll see what I mean. Once you have a visual intuition, you can start working through more structured books and courses. There are a ton of options here,
here, but I'll share one that I personally used when I was trying to get into Amazon and Google. The number one resource I used came from our Lord and Savior, Andre Karpath. If you don't know who he is, Karpathy is one of the founders of OpenAI, and he used to be the head of self-driving at Tesla too. His YouTube channel is full of videos that cover the math for machine learning, as well as how LLMs actually work. Karpathy focuses on building models from scratch so that you develop a truly deep understanding. Rather than importing libraries, you'll go deep into the underlying math and you'll build a better understanding than 99% of people. Now, I'll be honest with you, Karpathy's videos are pretty advanced and I found them pretty challenging when I was a beginner. So if you get overwhelmed, don't give up and just try a different resource. I've still got plenty more coming your way in the rest of this video. And as always, the link is in the description if you want my help and my guidance with building your portfolio. If you prefer learning from books, I have some suggestions there too. First, if you like edgy and non-traditional resources, boy oh boy do I have a recommendation for you. Check out Ivan Savov's No Bullshit Guide to Math and Physics, as well as his book for Linear Algebra. I never thought that math could be entertaining and informative until I found his books. Ivan curses throughout the book while somehow making the math for ML super digestible. The next level up would be more rigorous math textbooks. Here's the number one book I recommend. And remember, math for ML is broken down into linear algebra and calculus, and 3 Blue and Brown already has you covered on calculus. So the number one book I recommend comes from Gilbert Strang, who I mentioned earlier in the video. His book, Introduction to Linear Algebra, is the companion to his video lectures, and it's surprisingly easy to read, unlike most math books. It's relatively beginner-friendly and widely regarded as one of the best books for learning linear algebra. And if you're really a masochist and you want to dive into the proofs, you can go through the book Linear Algebra Done Right by Sheldon Axler. But I promise that is completely optional and you don't need to go that far unless you want to become a research scientist. Now, before you start studying, it's important to think about why do you even want to do this? Personally, I can't bring myself to study something I'm not interested in. It's the same reason I quit medical school. It was something my parents wanted for me, but I didn't care about being a doctor. And the same goes for studying ML. Are you genuinely interested in AI or are you just following the hype? Now, I'll be honest, you don't need to be 100% passionate to go into this field. It's perfectly okay to go into this field for the job opportunities and, let's face it, the high pay. Just make sure you're at least somewhat interested in AI and you're curious about how LLMs like ChatGPT work. Now, in terms of optimizing your study time, I recommend that you disregard everything you've ever heard about time management and focus. Most of the advice is complete garbage. Most people recommend techniques like Pomodoro, where you'll study for 25 minutes, then take a break for 5 minutes, then study for 25 again, and so on. But using that technique is the single worst thing you could do for your success in machine learning. And the reason has something to do with a concept called flow or the flow state. Flow is defined as a state of complete absorption in an activity, characterized by intense focus, a sense of control, a distorted perception of time, and even a lack of self-consciousness. In other words, it's called getting in the zone. You might have felt this before when playing an instrument, a sport, or even washing dishes. But think about it, if you're taking a break every 25 minutes, how the f*** are you supposed to get in the zone? Here is the study routine that I recommend instead. First, cut out all distractions. Silence your phone, put it into another room, and make sure nobody can interrupt you. Next, try to study first thing in the morning if possible. This is when your mind is most fresh and hasn't been polluted with garbage from the day, like memes and social media. You'll be able to focus like a mad scientist and get into the flow state very quickly. Lastly, get in at least one hour of deep focused work every morning where you make progress towards your goals. And I know it sounds corny, but if you let this compound for weeks and months and just really be consistent, it will pay off. Now, if you're looking for a step-by-step -step guide for getting into companies like Amazon and Google, I have another video for you to watch. I go over the second invisible resume, how you can build one, and how to use it to land your dream offer. Most people focus on their normal resume, but the top candidates are building the second invisible resume. Click here to watch the video, and I'll see you there.